What's going on, folks? Ted from Nerd Immersion here. I'm back with my good friend LB Hack'em Up, and uh, we were on the way home uh, from getting lunch yesterday, and she brought up a really interesting topic, and I thought it would be a good discussion piece for us mm -hmm. to have with all of you and see your thoughts on it. So why don't you go ahead and yeah. kick it off? I had a question about uh, charisma and how you use it as a character mm -hmm. a description or personality trait, because... For me, how I use it on I use it on a spectrum. If my character is very good looking, maybe they're not very personable. Like they're a swamp hag, but they like they're very attractive, but they don't know how to talk to people. Or mm, okay. if they're very charismatic, maybe they're not necessarily as good looking, but they know how to talk to people, they know how to swagger, that sort of thing. So like how do you determine what because it is a very physical thing and also a very like characteristic thing? How do you balance that when you have like either a high or a very low charisma? Yeah, so this was an interesting topic because we see it all the time, right? People will treat like I have a 20 charisma. Yeah. I'm the hottest person in the world. Look, look at me. <laughs> um, but let me ask you this because just the way you described it, do you ever do both where you're like super charismatic and personal but also like a super hottie? Does it does that ever come up? Or do you not like that because it's, it's not... I, you know, yeah, right? I, the balance I think is a little off but I, I have had characters that think that they're like that okay like so they are very like you know uh classically attractive mm -hmm. and they come off as very like charismatic and very like uh personable to people but really they're kind of just an idiot and an asshole and people don't actually like them okay. for their personality yeah so charisma as it's defined in in fifth edition is it has a couple of different options right some people say it's force of personality mm -hmm. uh and your, your your strength of character mm -hmm. Um, other people consider it to be physical attractiveness, mm -hmm. right? It, it it governs the social skills, the you know the diplomacy, the lying. Mm -hmm. That's another thing too, right? It's lying. Yeah. It's your ability to perform, mm -hmm. typically in instruments. I yeah. guess more yeah. more often than not, your ability to intimidate, and then also your ability to persuade. Yeah. If you're looking purely at the mm -hmm. the skills that use it, mm -hmm. um. So I'm not entirely like those are very differing, right? Yeah, like yeah. you could be very intimidating, yeah. Um, and then you can open your mouth and it could all fall apart. Exactly. Right. Um, so people have like, I mean, again, like, uh, well, I'll, I'll say Mike Tyson, right? For mm -hmm. example, his voice is not very intimidating, nope. but he is an intimidating man. Yes, exactly. Uh, so how does that work, right? You know yeah. what I mean? So it, it is interesting because I played with a lot of people where they use the max charisma or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Is they are stunningly beautiful mm -hmm. super sexy classically attractive or, or unconventionally attractive yeah. but then they also have a super ridiculous amount of swagger yeah and i don't know if that's more fun mm -hmm. um and i think and we talked about this a little bit yesterday that i think for me personally it depends on the character yeah and it might come in waves mm -hmm. depending on that character yeah. so like this character might have a really high charisma and they are really personable, right? Yeah. So they're like a very person anybody can talk to. Mm -hmm. And you might interpret that as attractive. Yeah, yeah. Um, but somebody else might be like, oh mm -hmm. my God, just shut up. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, just why do they always talk? Yeah. And how are they so nice? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, or you might be able to turn it on or off, yeah. right? If you're a very deceptive, sneaky, yes. liar type person who's about manipulating, convincing mm -hmm. people. Well, hey, I've like... 14 in deception, let's yeah. say. Uh, well, I might need to be personable to yeah. deceive you. Yeah. Or I might need to try and seduce you to deceive mm -hmm. you or whatever the mm -hmm. case may be. So I don't, there's no right answer, I no, don't think. Yeah. So we just wanted to spark this and I'm going to, while you talk here, I'm going to yeah. go pull up the charisma definition in the player's handbook just so we can look at it and see yeah. exactly what it says. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think what I like to do is I like to take a look at the things that my character is good at or the personality that I want to have with them. Like, okay, maybe I am very deceptive and I'm just good at faking it. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of like push those. It's like being an actor, you know, you're good sure. at doing the lying and, but you're also good at making people think that you're, you know, very nice or very personable or we know all those things, but you're not. Um, and that's, and I think that I also come up with the the problem of like, this is a fantasy world. Sure. Everyone's attractive if you want them to be. Like, you don't mm. have to have a high charisma to be good looking. So I don't know if it's necessarily all of that, but if you do have a character that is 
shy or like doesn't know how to talk to people mm -hmm. or you know i had a wizard that had a really high charisma and she lived her whole life like studying books she's not good at talking to people but she's very pretty so it's i feel like you have to have a balance otherwise it's just like i'm good at everything yeah and it, it definitely brings up to another a, a greater issue i'd say which is uh role play versus role yeah. play mm -hmm. Um, because like my character might have a garbage charisma, yeah. six, eight, whatever yeah. the case may be enough to function to be a human yeah. or a, be whatever race, but mm -hmm. be alive. Yeah. Uh, you know, but we might be prepping for, you know, I've been traveling with this party for years. Mm -hmm. We're all really, we work really mm -hmm. well together and, you know, people might be down on their luck. And I recognize that my mm -hmm. character, maybe my wisdom is very high yeah. or whatever. Or, or I just pick up on the keys in the yeah, room. Yeah. Everybody's really down. We need to get up. We mm -hmm. need to move and get going. And I start rallying people. And I come up with this really good speech about, you know, what's not over. We could do yeah. this. And I move everybody to the yeah. point where we need to get up and go. And the DM's like, that is amazing. Make a persuasion <laughs> check. And I'm like, but... <laughs> <sighs> okay <laughs> 10 so eight <laughs> and the dm's like yeah you flub your words and yeah. it's like but i i, yeah. I didn't yeah. though i just gave a really great speech yeah. does that not count for nothing mm -hmm. and that again comes down to certain dms will just be like there's no role necessary that you did what you yeah. needed to do and it worked yeah um but then there are other dms that want to quantify it as roles because yeah. that's how difficulty classes and things are yeah. designed uh, so I'm looking in the player's handbook under the first section for building your character. It says charisma is the, the measures confidence, eloquence, and leadership oh. is what it says. The three measures, right? So by comparison, uh, m wisdom is awareness, intuition, and insight. Intelligence is mental acuity, information recall, and analytical skills. So okay. confidence, eloquence, and leadership. Mm -hmm. And then if you go to chapter seven, the using ability score section, mm -hmm. It says, charisma measures your ability to interact effectively with others. It includes such factors as confidence and eloquence, and it represents a charming or commanding personality. Nowhere in there does it say anything about physical attractiveness. Yeah, yeah. Was... <laughs> so that is purely, and I still yeah. stand by this, is 100% a character choice. Yeah, yeah. You, what your character looks like, whether, you know, whatever mm -hmm. um, musculature or mm -hmm. not uh you know curvy or mm -hmm. not or whatever you yeah. define to be attractiveness for yourself is not you know tied mm -hmm. to charisma yeah in any way and then it says charisma checks might arise when you try to influence or entertain others mm -hmm. when you try to make an impression or tell a convincing lie or when navigating a tricky social situation yeah no reference wow. to attractiveness <laughs> so we solved our own question yeah. by looking at the book turns out read the player's handbook what? helps a lot yeah um yeah, it says other charisma checks. You might ask; they might ask you to make a charisma mm -hmm. check for finding the best person to talk to for news, rumors, or gossip, mm -hmm. or blend into a crowd to get a sense of key topics of conversation. Interesting. So this would be pretty much like so. I guess your Assassin's Creed assassins mm -hmm. have a very good charisma. Yeah. And yeah. the fact that this is de like what would be I guess the yeah. old gather information yes. checks or charisma checks. Mm -hmm. And the ability to, uh, I guess, blend into a crowd. It says to get the sense of key topics of conversation. So this is not so much disguising yourself mm -hmm. to hide, although I guess that would yeah, be as yeah. well. This is more or less to see, like, what are people talking about? Yeah. Let me just be like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I heard that too. Oh, they're talking about this, Blending guys. into social situations and being able to... Wow, that's cool. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so um, that is interesting. Because it oh. doesn't... Even I'm reading through, right, so uh deception we'll look at it here right mm -hmm. convincing hi convincingly hide the truth either verbally or through your actions mm -hmm. so it could even just be in your mannerisms your mm -hmm. body language deception can encompass everything from misleading others through ambiguity to telling outright lies mm -hmm. so interesting omissions of truth and dancing around it is still considered deception even though you're not outright lying right oh. which i feel like most people consider deception yeah. only when you're lying yes like the sky is yeah. green yeah. And I'm like, well, it's not green. Yeah. It's not purple either. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay. I mean, you know what I mean? Well, that, okay. Zone of truth, though. Correct. So, but zone of truth, it's not a, I guess it's not a, is it a deception check, I guess? It's well, not. it's not. Cause no, because you just you can't, can't lie. lie. But, but you're not being, you can be deceptive. Yeah. But 
So if you're in a zone of truth, okay, this is, if you're in a zone of truth and you're, you're trying to not say the truth, you're, you're skirting around it, you can still have to make a deception check. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. So then it also goes on to say, uh, fat, trying to fast talk a guard, mm -hmm. con a merchant, earn money through gambling. Ooh. That's a new one. Yeah, yeah. Pass yourself off in a disguise, dull someone's suspicions with false assurances. Yes. So me giving telling you everything's gonna be yeah. okay when it's not is actually <laughs> deception. Yeah. Rather which I guess it is when you think about it, or maintaining a straight face when telling a blatant lie. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Uh, and then for Guys, what, read the player's hand. Well let's keep, keep going. So much. Let's go to intimidation, right? When you huh? attempt to influence someone over threats, hostile actions, and physical violence. Examples include trying to pry information out of a prisoner, mm -hmm. convincing street thugs to back down from a confrontation. Convincing street thugs to back down is an intimidation check, not a persuasion check in this instance. Yes, here. yeah. Or using the edge of a broken bottle to convince a sneering <laughs> vizier to reconsider a decision. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, performance is pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Delighting the audience with music, dance, acting, storytelling, or other some form of entertainment. Nothing mm -hmm. crazy there. And then persuasion Influence someone or group of people with tact, social graces, or good nature. Mm -hmm. Typically, your persuasion when you're acting in good faith to foster friendships, make cordial requests, or exhibit proper etiquette. So exhibiting proper etiquette, technically, I guess, is a, pers a persuasion yeah. check. You're trying to persuade them that you are That you that know you what you, yeah. yeah. Examples of persuading others include convincing a chamberlain to let you, your party see the king, negotiating peace between warring tribes, or inspiring a crowd of townsfolk. So get, rallying the troops mm -hmm. is a, a persuasion check. This has been a, maybe we should just continue on this and make other <laughs> videos talking about the other yeah. ability scores at this point. This was a very insightful yes. read yes. through. Because honestly, folks, when's the last time you read your player's handbook cover to cover or even the sections that aren't spells right. or <laughs> items or your class features? Three, five. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. Five years ago, yes. probably. Um, so that's very interesting. So yeah, I guess that is purely... Yeah. attractiveness to a point yeah. is purely a character decision so mm -hmm. this is sort of i guess a call to action to you dms stop when your players say what do they look like and then don't look at your stats for them and mm -hmm. say well they have a 16 charisma so yeah, they're very yeah. attractive yeah that's not how it, i mean if that makes you comfortable sure but yeah. per the book you can say like you know she's got an eight charisma so her social graces are awful she doesn't know how to she's mm -hmm. maybe she's a a shut-in, mm -hmm. you know, she doesn't know how to talk to people, uh, but she's a knockout. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. entirely possible because charisma is not a direct correlation mm -hmm. to your attractiveness. Simple fix. Make all of your NPCs hot. Yeah. I mean, if you've played Baldur's <laughs> Gate 3, that's the <laughs> yeah. case. No matter what race they are, yeah. the only one that maybe not is the Kuatoa. We haven't found there. Yeah, we'll get there yeah, next yeah. week. I mean, um, the mind flare with the whole maw thing wasn't great yeah either, that's but. true that's true <laughs> uh but yeah so i don't know let us know in the comments down below mm -hmm. did you how do you interpret yeah. charisma in your games did this was this an eye-opening experience to you like mm -hmm. it kind of was for us hey so we went and got the three five character uh the player's handbook and read the first line character uh, charisma measures a character's force of personality persuasiveness personal magnetism ability to lead and physical attractiveness yeah. So we weren't wrong. It's literally the first <laughs> sentence under what charisma is says it defines your character's physical attractiveness. In 3-5. In 3-5, right. So that's uh, like most of us who started here, I think that's the connection yeah. that people make. And I don't know if it goes back to 2E and before. Mm -hmm. I would assume so because it probably was a carryover into here. Yeah. Uh, so that's where that kind of correlation, I think, mm -hmm. comes from. And probably smartly so, I'd say yeah. Wizards decided to div to separate those two and make attractiveness just purely a character decision. Yeah. But yeah, this was an, an interesting experience yeah. for us. And let us know if this opened your eyes mm -hmm. or, or how you interpreted it. Did this change your opinion on yeah. it? Uh, were we the dummies who didn't know anything and you yeah. guys knew it all along? Please let us know. Yeah. Um, so thank you, LB, for bringing up this excellent conversation topic in the car yesterday <laughs> that made an excellent video yeah. today. So again, LB stuff is in the description down below. You can go check out her Twitch and her YouTube and everything like that, TikTok and whatnot. Um, Ted will be on there. I will. Uh, and uh, we, we play games together sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're hoping to get more stuff in the future. Jordan, go ahead and make that video, uh, that campaign a thing. Mm -hmm. uh, then we can play together. So 
Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.